the Quran about honeybees. Worker bees are all females. The worker bees, those who gather pollen and make the honey, are actually all females. The male bees do not make honey. This was only known recently. However, 1400 years ago, the Quran refers to bees that generate the honey as females. The Arabic grammar is in the female mode, in the Quran. And your Lord, Allah, revealed to the bees, build your hives in mountains, trees, and in what they build. Then eat for females from every fruit and follow for females, your Lord's enslaved paths. From its bellies, Bultuniha, exits, drink of different colors. In it, healing for men. These are signs for those who contemplate. For the word eat, kuli, is for females. Kul is for males. The Quran used kuli, females. For the word follow a path, usluki, is for females. Usluk is for males. The Quran used usluki, females. For the word their bellies, butuniha is for females. Butunihim is for males. The Quran used butuniha, females. How can an illiterate man who lived 1400 years ago have known that those honey making bees are females? Butuniha in Arabic means multiple stomachs of a single female. Today we know that honeybee has an extra stomach dedicated for honey. How can an illiterate man who lived 1400 years ago have known that a honeybee has an extra stomach for honey? Bees build their hives from their own wax. However, scientists just discovered bees that build hives in wood and even in solid rock. Carpenter bees drill their hives in wood. Some bees can even drill in solid rock in the Quran. And your Lord Allah revealed to the bees, build your hives in mountains, trees, and in what they build. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered the bees to drill in mountains, solid rock, trees, wood, in addition to the known wax hives. How can an illiterate man who lived 1400 years ago have known that bees can drill in solid rock?